What's up everybody, it's Luster Perch Pink. Recently, Pokemon confirmed two features for the upcoming Sword and Shield games, Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. With both of these, Pokemon become huge and gain more powerful attacks. The core difference between them, however, is that Gigantamaxing grants a new form to the Pokemon, akin to how Mega Evolution did. Even though I share the opinion with many other fans of the franchise that Mega Evolution would have been preferable over Gigantamaxing, I think it's an exciting prospect that older Pokemon may get the chance to shine like others did when the new Megas were initially released. Here are the top 10 Pokemon I think should get a Gigantamax form in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Sitting at number 10, we have the final evolution of the Galar starters. Though this is technically three Pokemon, I decided to put them under one number, as we haven't seen them yet. I really want Game Freak to do a similar thing as they did in Auras, in which the starters take on the gimmick of the generation. I remember hearing some complaints about the Kalos starters not getting Megas, so maybe the trio of final evolutions this generation will get to use Gigantamaxing. At number 9 we have Flygon. Apparently Flygon was meant to have a Mega, although this idea was scrapped. It is a huge shame to me that such an awesome Pokemon like Flygon has been largely overlooked and overshadowed by the pseudos from Gen 3. I think that it's about time that Flygon got a Mega, or something close to it. There could also be some potential to play around with the idea of Flygon being a pilot of some sort. I mean, the coverings over its eyes already look like goggles. Now that would be interesting to see. At number 8, we have Dusnor. Now, tell me again, why didn't Dusnor get a Mega in the first place? This bulky dude is truly deserving of a cool new look. Perhaps something using the reefer cloth around its neck. Now, that would be sweet. Maybe even a genie aesthetic. Oh. Wait. Well, whatever the matter, Gigantamaxing is the prime opportunity to give Dusnor some love. We've already seen its pre-evolutions confirmed, so let's hope that this is its time to shine. Let's also hope it doesn't try to send the world into eternal paralysis again with its newfound powers. Hexers also falls into a similar boat as Flygon. It appeared to be a pseudo, but does not qualify as one due to its stats. And it was also neglected when it was time for Game Freak to dish out Megas. I think that Haxorus is a cool Pokemon who deserves some sort of buff, like a Gigantamax form, to really bring it back into the spotlight and give it more appreciation. Who knows? It may even surpass Hydreigon. Maybe, buddy. Just maybe. At number 6, we have Dunsparce. No, I am not joking on this one. I truly do think that Dunsparce is long overdue on some quality that makes it a particularly special Pokemon. The only thing about it that people typically tend to gravitate to is, well, its utter uselessness. It's essentially become a joke in the Pokemon community, though there have been some dedicated Dunsparce fans calling on Game Freak to give it a Mega, or just a plain evolution. I think Gigantamaxing is the perfect opportunity to give this guy some time to shine, or make it an even bigger joke than before. Coming in at number 5, we have Bisharp. Yet another Gen 5 Pokemon that has had so much potential. Bisharp is a dual steel dark type that is based on a chess piece, which, might I add, for the aesthetic and thematic ideas of black and white, worked really well. Now that we're getting a region based off the UK, I think this would be an excellent time to come back around and give Bisharp some sort of medieval knight aesthetic. That or they can make his Gigantamax form into an actual bishop. That would certainly be... something. Flying in at number 4, we have Farfetch'd. Again, not a joke. Much like Dunsparce, this little cutie is typically considered a kind of joke Pokemon and uses a punchline in Pokemon-related puns, such as finding a shiny... Oh. That's too far-fetched. <laughs> no, it's not funny. Why not? It's overused. Even though Gen 1 has been a particular favorite of Game Freak, Farfetch'd hasn't actually gotten much attention at all. I think that Farfetch'd does deserve a Gigantamax, though this one I kind of doubt, especially since that one leak that was correct about several things stated that Farfetch'd is getting a regional variant. Who knows? That in of itself is a little far-fetched. At number 3, we have Mimikyu. 
Ah, the beloved Pikachu copycat. Mimikyu doesn't need an evolution of any sort, as I think doing so would ruin the whole gimmick of it dressing up as Pikachu. However, that doesn't mean that Mimikyu can't get a Gigantamax form that explores beneath its disguise. I think that the lore of the Pokémon is absolutely fascinating, and that a new form would be the perfect opportunity to reveal more about what's under the hood without stripping away the original identity of the Pokémon. Though, let's just hope it doesn't face off against a Pikachu in this form. At number two, we have Frostlass. Why did Galalee get a Mega and not this beautiful girl? Frostlass has always been one of the cooler Pokemon in my book, and I'm sure that many fans are of the same opinion. Her design is based off the Yukiona, please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that, a malevolent creature from Japanese folklore that drains the life from her prey, though sometimes marries prey that she sets free. Pokemon based on legends are always fascinating to me, and I think that Frostlass is an excellent example of this. Perhaps her Gigantamax form could look like she's in wedding attire, or maybe holding an ice sculpture of a snow run, as Yuki Ona's, again, I'm sorry, have sometimes been depicted holding children to lure prey. Whatever the matter, Frostlass is certainly a COOL Pokemon that is much overdue on a new form. And sitting pretty at number one is Milotic. I think that this is somewhat of a given for Pokemon fans. Milotic is an elegant Pokemon who also serves as a great tank and is a member of Cynthia's notoriously difficult team. There's also a lot of fan art of Mega Milotic out there, which indicates that the fandom is really rooting for a new form of Milotic. And yeah, I think that we all would like it to happen. Though Gigantamaxing is a concerning indicator for the death of Mega Evolutions, I would settle for this gorgeous Pokemon getting a Gigantamax form. Come on, Game Freak, give us a deadly yet beautiful Siren. I think that there are several Pokemon that are deserving of Gigantamax forms, but who knows who will get one? What do you guys think? What Pokemon do you want to see get a Gigantamax form? Heck, what Pokemon do you want to see in Sword and Shield that hasn't been confirmed yet? Comment what you think down below. For now, I'm out. Peace.